Okay, good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeremy C. back with another stencil tutorial. That's S T E N C Y L dot com is the gaming software that you're seeing in, in this video. Um, you can go to Stencil Forge in order to get uh, anything that you could possibly want for trying to do your game, except for my add ons that I created in order to do this uh, video uh, because I didn't upload them for anybody to have. It took me a while to figure out how to do it, and there are no videos for it. So, uh, as you can see, I have an official Crash Course kit out there for you, anybody who wants to get it and keep uh, recreating um, the original stuff. It's up there for you to um, download. Okay, so uh, let's go back in here. Uh, the, what I was doing was I wanted to be able to get a character who would power up or or become something else when he picked up something like in Mario where he picks up the uh, the, uh, the flower power or when he picks up the mushroom and it becomes bigger. I couldn't figure out how to get it to do it and there were no tutorials on how it was done. Um, so basically I went in and I had to do this all from scratch myself. As you can see I have a scene and in the scene I have my mumbo which is my actor. These other guys out here, they're actors too. Um, you cannot have the enemy be an actor also. Uh, it won't work that way. Um, and only, only an actor can interact with an actor. Uh, players can only interact with players. Enemies interact, vice versa. Uh, so when I was trying to do it, I had the enemy as uh, one of them, and that's why it wouldn't do it that way. And then... I, I had to keep doing this and redoing this until I finally figured out what was wrong with my code. Um, I did uh, uh, find snippets of how to uh, respawn people or whatever, but they didn't do what I was trying to get them to do, so I had to actually physically go in and keep punching away at the code until I finally got it to work. And I was so proud of myself when I finally did. Um, this is the end result of what I got it to do. Uh, let it generate the game here. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to interact with the two characters on the screen. Yeah, we'll run before that guy catches me. Um, as you can see, I'm Mumbo right now. I'm now Pronger. And I adjusted his uh, ability so he can jump higher. Uh, they both were set at 71 originally, but I, I wanted to show that you can give uh, your guy a special character or special abilities, you can give him firing uh, abilities or whatever, any kind of power up you want, like Mario, where he's throwing the fireballs and stuff. A uh, really simple, easy, uh, great way to uh, run your uh, platformers, you know, so that it gives you a little more uh, variety to it. And as you can see, the pronger came back. Um, again, he's just a sensor, so if I change it now, I now I'm mumbo. And if I was to pick up Mumbo when he comes back, I'm only become become Mumbo again. Um, so that would be a defeated purpose of picking up the same one. But it does remove him off the screen for uh, 30 seconds. Um, and again, pick him up. As you can see, his jump is a lot higher. Um, we'll wait for Mumbo to come. Uh, and you can see I'm back to Mumbo. And as you can see, Mumbo can't quite make the jump. Ah, there he goes. He made the jump. And again, once you walk off the screen, since I didn't set it, you can't get back. But my characters are all in there now. Okay. So that was basically what I went and did was I made it to where I could touch this guy and respawn my, my markers so that they would reset again. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to hold off on telling you exactly how it was done. I would like uh, comments and stuff to see how many people out there really would like to know how it was done. Okay, have a great one. Enjoy.